So what you're looking at here is the most powerful node on NA10 that no one knows about because I just made it. And before I get into a few examples of the hundreds of things that this node can do, let me just give you a little close up of the insights of how this all works. And so this right here is the supercode node. And the reason why this is so much more powerful than what is on NA10 currently is because I've added in all of these libraries for JavaScript as well as Python as well. And we can also convert this node into our very own AI agent as well. So if I just toggle this AI agent mode button on, you can see now we are given the new option to add an AI connection. So I can just press that. Then I can just add a new one. So this was just a language model right here. We can also add a memory and let's just add another one just to make it like a real deal agent. And we'll add a tool. Now, if I just exit out of there, you can see now we're given much more AI agent looking appearance to the node. And then now we can add our language models, we can add our memories and obviously our tools as well. Now, if you're very, very familiar with NA10, you may have heard of the Langchain code node as well. But I can tell you right now that this compared to the super code node is absolutely nothing. And the reason number one is that we can only execute JavaScript code right here. And we're also not sure how many libraries the Langchain node code actually has. But if we compare this to the one that I've created over here with the super code, we get access to JavaScript. We have Python as well. So Python has 30 libraries available. We can do web scraping. We can use pandas, everything that we need to use with Python. And then we have JavaScript. And if you know you want to go through all the libraries and see one by one, you can obviously do so right here as well. So if you've seen my Instagram scrapers in the past, you know that I have all these nodes everywhere. You know, I might have 10, 15, bloody 30 different nodes going on. In this case, we're only just using two nodes and really I only need just one. But in this case, I do need the chat trigger to send the data that I want to get. And you can see right here, I just have very simple JavaScript code, which is just essentially using a method get to the URL of the uh, rapid API URL, which is just for the Instagram API. Um, we're doing it by username. And then down here, what I'm also getting is the actual uh, calculation, okay? So I'm actually calculating the engagement rate of these videos that are you know, extracted from this API as well. And we're also only getting specific fields from this API endpoint as well. So let's see this in action. So I'll just add in, so, so since this is for usernames, I'm just gonna add in any random username that I want. Let's just say Selena. Gomez, Jesus, I'm spelling good. We'll type that in, let that execute, wait for it to finish, and boom, we are done. And then you can clearly see on the right here that all of the data from this API has already been delivered. And we can see right here, we have a summary. We have obviously, you know, the username, how many reels, total views, and the engagement rate, things like that. And then the specific reels. So one by one, we can also see you know, obviously the full name, the username, play count, like count, comment count, reshare count, and the engagement rate, as well as the text. And then just down here, I've also added in the video ID, and this will also take me to that reel as well for a link. And then I also get the link to download the reel as well, if I, you know, do want to repurpose or something like that and you know, post it on my own account. And then I've made some very common business use scenarios right here as well, so you can see it live and in action. So number one that I've made here is just a simple lead scoring system. So I'll just click on execute step right here and boom, it's done in like two milliseconds, right? And this is so much more reliable than relying on an AI to be going through one by one, making mistakes along the way, paying money for it, waiting for it and everything. Code gets it right every single time. That's why I love it, right? It's very, very reliable. So you can see on the right, right here, uh, well, based on the left information, based on the lead data, which is just mock data right here. But all of this mock data right here is then scored um, on the right, okay? So based on the scoring factors and based on the score that it gets, it then gets a lead score. So based on how high that score is, it's then graded, which in this case for this particular lead, uh, lead for John, this is hot. So this would be a very, very strong, a very, very good lead. So essentially, if you connect your CRM to this now, go through this code right here, all of those leads that you get, or even before they go into your CRM, will all be scored. So that way, now you can actually have more information based on that lead, depending you know, on what information they've given you, 
uh, will give you a grade to determine whether or not they're, you know, very hot or, you know, kind of bad. Now, in the second example right here, we have competitive price monitoring with website analysis. Okay. So I'm just going to click on execute step right here. Boom. And it's done. So on the left, you can see we have competitor pricing features, last updated, all that kind of information. And on the right here, we get all of the analysis and everything has pretty much been analyzed for us to see. We can see right here, based on all of this information, you know, I won't go through every single little thing here. It's just a very quick little demo, just so you can see. But we can see all of this information at a glance very, very quickly. Now imagine all of this, right? You're passing it through your workflows or NA10. You're getting all this data and then you're just pushing it straight to a database, notifying yourself on Telegram or WhatsApp or whatever the hell that is that you use, right? And you're getting all this information almost instantly and extremely reliably. And what's really exciting about this as well is that we can actually scrape websites just via this node right here. So if I click on this one here and I go to execute step, let that load up, boom, you know, it took about a second longer than the others, but we've just scraped now three different websites, okay? And we have all the information on the right, obviously right here, okay? So now looking at this, we can see the site name, the URL, the title, um, well, authors not found, you know, some of them will have it, some of them won't. And for this little simple example here, I've added in a little search engine optimization analysis to kind of give recommendations. So you can see at the bottom here, it says content recommendations, uh, consider longer, more detailed content, improve meta description, keyword usage, um, and all, yeah, well, all URLs are scraped successfully, meaning that all the code here has worked. And one that's really, really important for you social media people out there is performance analysis, right? So we want to see at scale for hundreds or thousands of different posts, which one's performing really, really well. So something like this we can use. So I'm just going to click on execute step here again. Boom, it's done in two milliseconds. And we can see right now at a glance, I've only got, you know, three random little posts here, but we can see right here very, very quickly, we're getting engagement rate scores, the total engagement, you know, content scores at 100. And this is telling us very, very quickly, which um, bits of our content are performing well, or maybe even our competitors. So we can kind of determine what content we want to copy off them, right, which, you know, I know that kind of sounds like it sucks. But that's just how it works, man. And for you e commerce people out there, I've made a little inventory and pricing optimizer. So let me just open this up, execute the step. And here we can see very, very quickly again that we can see right here we have priorities. Okay, so these are going to be the highest priority actions that we need to be taking like literally right now. Okay, so um, as you can see right here, emergency restock. We have price adjustments that need to be made as well. Decreased price by 15%, you know, one week stock remaining, all these kind of things. So this, you know, if you had like a Shopify store or a WooCommerce store, this is going to be extremely beneficial for you because you're going to be able to judge all of this. Like imagine you had now hundreds or thousands of products. You're not going to be going through one by one. I can guarantee you that right now. If you're not doing anything like this, you are just, well, I don't even know. You're going to fail pretty much, right? And this is how we can get around that to really be on top of the game for everything about our own you know, e-commerce business. And then I thought, why don't we make Excel spreadsheets directly in NA10 as well? You know, just so we can have all of this really, really nice and fast within NA10, download them, upload them to Excel, or have it on our bloody Excel on our computers and just, you know, view everything at a glance. So this node right here with this code right here, we can actually just execute this step. Boom, it's done. It's actually just created an Excel sheet right here. So if I actually go over here now and I just click on create Excel and execute this, boom, now we can actually download that Excel sheet based on all that information, based on all that data. And that data could be anything, right? It could be from our customers. It could be from our business. It could be from literally anything out there. And we can just create a simple spreadsheet formatted the way we want to format it as well with coloring, with, you know, bolded words and so on and so forth and just literally download it. In seconds, I made a little crypto portfolio tracker here as well. So just open this one up. I'll click on execute step right here and boom, just like that. Again, we are just getting the price of Bitcoin and we can see everything here. Obviously, these are way 
outdated because these are just little examples that I've added in there. But don't forget, we can add in live information from APIs and things like that as well. I'm just giving you here just a little sample, just so it's fast, just for this you know particular demo. But right here on the right, now we can see we're getting performance signals, you know, top performance, what is doing well, market conditions, um, portfolio overview, sure. Uh, and then we're just going through all of the different Bitcoins and cryptocurrencies right here. So we have F down here. We have um, ADA or whatever over here. T to be honest with you, I don't even know much about crypto. I pretty much know F and uh, Bitcoin, and maybe Dogecoin. But we can see right here all this information very, very quickly based on code, right? We can just extract and get all the numbers that we need to see, the most important things we need to see at a glance in seconds. Now, if you do want to download this, all you're going to have to do is obviously click on your little thing here, go to settings. OK, so I'm just going to save that so I don't lose everything. And we're going to go to the community nodes right here. OK, now I don't actually I mean, I've already got this installed, but I'm actually on development. So so I'm actually because this is my own node that I've made. But all we would have to do is just click on install community node. So we click on that. Uh, this is the website that, that um, uh, you know, hosts everything for us, the NPM website. And all we're going to do is literally just copy the name right here. So it's just, you know, this right here. I'll have it down in the description as well. We come over here. We paste that in. We just click this little button here. And we press install. Wait for it to install. It might even take. 20, 30 seconds or so. It doesn't really take that long, but just wait for it to install. And then you should have access to it when you go back to your workflow. So then after you go, you know, get that all installed, uh, I'll just come back over here and, you know, you just open up your uh, little uh, panel on the side here. We type in super and you can see that I have the super code node right here. Okay. And that just opens it up. Boom. There you go. You get the little anime girl here as well. So you have everything set. And this is going to be making your workflows so much more powerful. I'm telling you right now, I'm not even exaggerating when I say that. It is going to make your workflows so much more powerful. But then you're wondering, well, I don't know how to code. I don't know how to code JavaScript. I don't know how to code in Python. Pfft, don't worry about it. So first thing we're going to do, we're just going to get one of these nodes right here. The main thing we want to look at are these right up here. Okay, so we're just going to copy this. I'm going to jump over to Claude. Claude is, you know, I would say the best coder at the moment. GPT-5 is not too bad as well. You can use that. Um, but what we can do here is essentially just create the code with Claude um, utilizing, you know, whatever libraries that we have access to, which is what I just copy pasted before. So let's just say, for example, um, create random JavaScript code for a code node in NA10, which has access to these libraries. Okay. Paste that in there. Obviously, you know, don't put in random code. You put in whatever code, you know, anything that you want to make. Um, it is going absolutely ham with this at the moment, creating something very strange right here, using a lot of different dependencies right here as well. But that's fine. Let's see what it makes. Okay. So it's still going through. All right. So Claude has just made up some really random code for me right here. So I'm just going to copy all of that. I'm going to jump back over to NA10. And I'm just going to, you know, obviously get rid of all that, paste that all in. Okay. And I'll also have to get in. Um, actually, does it require any data? Sample input data in real NA10. This will come from previous nodes. Okay, so let's just see for the time being. We'll also just connect this little um, execute workflow node, sorry. Okay, let's just execute that. All right, so for this particular one, I've just got a little error here. I've just copied that, pasted it over here. Claude's then going in, fix it up again. All right, and after about 10 seconds of Claude just going in and fixing it all up, I just paste it in here again, execute the step. Boom, there we go. It works. And I've made this very, very simple for you. So all that you'd be doing here is just literally going into your Claude or your chat GPT, right? And all you're going to be doing is just requesting the code that you require for the tasks that, you know, you want to be done on your NA10 workflows. Now, I'm also going to be releasing an exclusive guide on how to make your very own custom NA10 nodes as well. 
on my community right here. So if you are interested in that, it's going to be very valuable for you because don't forget, this is going to give you the upper edge on literally 99.9% .9 of other NA10 agencies out there. All the other businesses who aren't utilizing this kind of stuff, this is going to make you, your business, your agency, whatever it may be, a lot more powerful overall. But anyway, I hope you enjoy the video. If you do enjoy the note as well, let me know down below. If you do have any issues, installation problems or anything like that, let me know down below and I'll get back to you. See you again soon.